Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace a crankshaft sensor on an Astra. If you want to know how they're constructed and how they work, check out my other video where I show you this. This is useful information to know and it will help you to diagnose faults in the future. So the symptoms of a faulty crankshaft sensor include the vehicle won't start, it lacks power, perhaps the engine speed is hunting, and sometimes the engine will even cut out when you're driving, which is obviously quite dangerous. So I use the pedal test to get the codes. One of the codes that the vehicle has is P0335, which is for the crankshaft sensor. So I'm gonna be replacing that today. So once you've established that your crank sensor is faulty, you need to buy a new one. Check the description of the video where there's a link to websites where you can buy good parts at good prices. Now let's get on with the job. This is an easy job, you don't need many tools, and it won't take long. On the Astra, the crankshaft position sensor is located down below the oil filter and when the vehicle's not on jacks it is possible to get your hand in down here I actually did this yesterday and I slackened off the 10 millimeter nut that holds the sensor into the engine block however from this position I really can't give you any view at all for the video so today I've had to jack up the car and I'm going to uh, attack it from underneath to give you a view as well I'm sure you can get this off without jacking up the car and doing it from the bottom. So if anybody has done this, please leave a comment in the comments section to help other people. If they want to go from the top, let them know that it's possible. So we've jacked up the vehicle and it's on axle stands. We're now going to disconnect the battery. Disconnect the negative terminal from the battery. Put it somewhere safe where it's not going to touch against the terminal again. This ensures the safety of both yourself and the vehicle's electronics. On the Astra, just above the flexible coupling on the exhaust, if you just look up from there, you've got the starter motor. And just below the starter motor, there you are. That's the crank shaft position sensor. So it has a 10 millimeter bolt on it. I'm gonna disconnect that. And we'll see if we've got the clearance to get the sensor out or whether we have to remove the 13 millimeter nut that holds the starter motor cable in position. So with a short extension, you can see on this vehicle, on this Astra, the, there is access onto the retaining bolt without removing the starter motor cable. Once the retaining bolt is loose, you may find it easier to remove it with, with your fingers rather than trying to continue to use the extension. Remove the retaining bolt. And now you can remove the sensor from the engine. So, it has an O-ring and the new part that you buy also comes with a new O-ring. This is the electrical connector on the Astra here, but the, there is restricted access with some of the pipe work here. You can just pop that out of the way and just remember to put it back into position when you've finished. This connector is retained within a bracket and if you pull it, the whole connector towards the rear of the car and it will pop out and give you access to remove the electrical connector. There's the latch so we need to depress that and pull apart the connector. And remove the sensor. At the top of the screen you can see the defective sensor that's been removed and at the bottom you can see the new sensor. Before fitting the sensor get some nice clean engine oil and make sure you give a good a good soak to the sensor itself and also to the o-ring. This will make it easier to get into the car and it will also give a good seal on the o-ring. Refitting the sensor is the reverse of the removal. The electrical connector is refitted now just fitting the retaining bolt to the sensor which is in position in the engine. Tighten up the retaining bolt on this vehicle is to be tightened to 8 newton meters. So no need to exaggerate here. Okay, that's that. Have a final check to make sure that everything's back in position as it should be. Reconnect the negative terminal on the battery. And then comes the moment of truth. And now do the victory dance because you've just saved yourself a few hundred pounds. Thanks for watching guys. If you want more of these videos, please encourage me by subscribing to the channel 
Uh, see you next time and in the meantime, remember, enjoy life. Yeah.